Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. I want to make this video on Thinkorswim's Float Shares tab or their Thinkorswim Shares tab. Uh, it's very similar to Float uh, with Thinkorswim. It's not completely accurate, um, but I'm going to show you a way on how to add that onto your charts uh, to give you a good gauge uh, for um, trading shares within a stock, which are very similar to Float. Thinkorswim does not have a Float uh, tab in general that gives you the exact uh, float, but it's similar, and their uh, shares tab kind of, again, overestimates. So if you're looking for low float stocks to trade and you have the shares tab up, you can pretty much assume that the flow is going to be actually less than what it shows on the shares tab. So it gives you a really good gauge. That's what I use. I hardly ever look up the flow because I realize if it's within my range on my Thinkorswim uh, shares tab, then chances are it's overestimating it. So I can kind of, uh, I can feel comfortable trading it. Uh, again, low float stocks are really anything definitely under 10, 10 million up to 20 million. Um, you know, so anything under 20 million is really a low float stock. Uh, so if you see um, a stock on, um, you know, think or swim that's hovering around 20 million or less that's set under shares, then you're good to go. Uh, if you really want to check on it, then you can obviously pull it up and just kind of double check on a site like uh, if you go over here to Yahoo Finance, uh, you can look under statistics right here and you can see the float over here. So looking over again on Thinkorswim, you'll see I have my tab right here, shares, and it's really hooked up to all my watch lists. So really how you add that is just click the toggle wheel here, click on customize, type in shares right here, double click on it, add it, and then boom, it's right on here. So you'll see here, I'll show you a few examples. Uh, MRTX says shares, uh, basically 25 million. But if you go over to Yahoo Finance, you'll see it's really around 18 million. So that's perfect. That falls right under that 20 million if I'm uh, looking for low float stocks. If you look at, uh, let's look at a few more. ETRM says 8.2 million right over here. If I go to Yahoo Finance and type in ETRM, you will see that it shows the flow at 5.92 million. So again, uh, Thinkorswim will kind of overestimate it, which is good. So again, anything right around that 25 million or less, you should be good to go. But some of them, as you get up to like 40 million or so, might be really under 20 million. You just got to double check it. But again, if you're looking for those low float stocks, especially with a news catalyst or a technical breakout or breakdown, uh, those are the ones that tend to move uh, really quickly. So again, I hardly ever look up the float because I just use... Um, shares as my gauge uh, when I'm doing intraday trading. So again, all you have to do is just go to this toggle wheel over here, click on customize, type in shares, add it right on to your sidebar, and you'll be good to go. And you'll see here, I have all these scans uh, set up as well. Um, if you don't know how to do all that and you want help on how to get that set up with Thinkorswim, or if you want to learn how to just learn, you know, trading in general, take our free courses. You'll see our Think or Swim course. We'll tell you how to set it up all up with um, on Think or Swim platform. But if you want to just learn more about trading, momentum trading, stuff like that, take our free courses on our website. Um, again, you want to make sure that you come and join our community. Uh, so uh, on Facebook, you know, make sure you click on this banner here over on our website or click the link below and we'll lead you right over here where you can come and join our community on Facebook. We have lots of traders from around the world. We love to have you. Uh, again, we actually, if you see this post here, we really protect our community. We like to make sure only good content uh, is being posted on a daily basis. So again, come and join us and, um, you know, make sure again that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and take advantage of all the free content that we have to offer. So uh, again, hopefully this video helped you. Uh, we do love Thinkorswim. Other platforms do have the shares tab available or something like it. Just kind of check with what platform, um, uh, what, you know, your platform has to offer. But if you want a very simple resource, just go to Yahoo Finance, click on statistics, and you can get Float as well. So uh, hopefully this video helped you, and we'll see you in our community. Enjoy.